And we are going to take our chicken today, and for the um, fried version, we'll just take a little bit of chicken. This one, we'll just cut it up. I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And for the fried version, we'll just take this to one side, do another side, into little cubes. I like these because they're a little bit more compact, remind me of more like a teriyaki bowl. Okay, and we're gonna get prepped for our next step for breadcrumbs. Is I just toasted um, up two slices of bread. Um, I need to do more because I know you're gonna have probably a bigger crowd than I am. Just mm, real fine, it comes out to be like, you yeah, know, once you do it for a while, you can put it in a blender or something. But for my fried version, I'm just gonna use a little bit of flour. So it's just my hands and I washed our cutting board. We're gonna make a little marinade for this. Um, some green onions, some cilantro, this one's looking a little, a little floppy. And then we're going to use some our carrot carrot oranges, which is more like a red orange. And we're going to use um, some lemons and maybe a little garlic if you please. I just did a little bit. So I'm going to chop up some green onions. Real simple. Put in the marinade. We're gonna put about half a can of orange juice concentrate, half a can of apple juice. Um, the concentrate is what I added as well. Fruit juice. Acai is just fine. But that's gonna amp up the color a little bit and bring out some flavors. So I put some lemon. I'm going to squeeze some lemon right in there, about half a lemon, because I'm just making a small one. And then I'm going to put half of my carrot carrot in here. I know it is just bursting. It is juicy. Just stir it up just a little bit. And we'll put our chicken in. We're just going to throw all that together. We're get our cooking cream. So now I'm going to put about half in um, for the first part because we want to save half for our mixture. Just stir it together, drain it, and um, just combine it. You get a really, really like, um, it reminds me of like a raspberry vinaigrette kind of look to it. Just stir it up. And I'm going to put the rest of our chicken in there. We're going to, in the next step, we're just going to coat this, and then we'll be back. We're and we're back from letting it going to coat our chicken breasts. First, we're going to start off with the fried version. So I'm going to take some of this. And um, what I like to do first is um, just, of course, um, get my two eggs three eggs, depending on how many people you're having. Just stir it up real quick. And chink. Ooh, and we almost had ourselves a mishap. But then we're going to just put these in our flour mixture. And then back in our egg mixture. And you can do this with a fork. I just love feeling my food. Um, so we got one going there. And then we'll make a few more. And then we'll fry these up and make a little, um, a little rice to go with it. Okay, and while we're in between steps, we're just going to start doing this. Um, you just put two cups of water to about um, a cup of rice. We all know how to make rice. And just a dash of salt. Gonna make some brown rice that we already got a plate going on. What you, you want to do if you want to add a little bit more flavor, because um, we're making that orange juice, you could put some carrot carrot on top and also some lemon. Okay, 
And we are going on to the next step. Like I said, we're just going to fry these up. And um, we, you do that for a couple minutes on each side. You do it about five or six minutes. What I like to do is a little method of just pushing, pushing. So, so I use cast iron skillets. And I just want to fill it up until it doesn't spill over, but just enough to cook it in. And so I'm going to add this to here. Add my chicken. Then you do it about five to six minutes on each side. And something I want to add to this as well is um, that I also like to make the, the, the oil a little dirty. Um, it gives a little bit more spice to the chicken, even bring out all the flavors completely of that savory garlic as well. I chopped up some garlic really fine. Um, you can get the minced garlic. Um, but this I have pre-measured, and of course I'm not going to touch anything after this because I just touched the chicken. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of garlic in there, just a, just a tad more. And then it'll be cooking for about five to six minutes. And here we go. I know, living on the edge, a little danger. And we're just going to fry it up. We'll be back here. We'll be plating it up, taking it off, and we'll show you our finished product right after this. I hope you enjoy. And then, we're, um, before we show you that finished product, we're going to show you how to make a sauce. So maybe while this is cooking, we can make the sauce work. It'll be an acai orange sauce. Mmm, very good. I know. And for our sauce, we're going to use acai, which is one of my favorite juices. We can do this while the chicken is cooking. So we'll just add uh, about half a bottle. Um, you want to use almost all of it because there's no need for this to go to waste. Then we'll do about half a cup of brown sugar. And then some white sugar as well. Just that over here. White sugar as well. Put that in there. Maybe a little mm, bit more brown sugar. But we're going to make this into a simple sauce. So we're going to do about medium high. Rinse those pans right up. And like I said before, like of course we're going to do this while we're doing our chicken. So I'm just giving that a quick little stir. Just because I want the coating to be even on each side. And of course my, um, my sauce, my acai sauce, doing a little work over there. So um, we're going to put a little bit more orange juice concentrate, but what I'm going to use is just a little bit more of that orange. Just squeeze that out of there. Mm -hmm. A little pulse good, so maybe if you want to do a little more, get a little brisk with it, you can. Um, I'm going to get my whisk, but we already washed up, and we're going to stir it a bit. Turn around. It's going to be a sauce right now, but um, when we stir it for a bit, it's going to get up to like a little bit of boiling. You just want to get it right, like right at the edge of that. You could do it for about a minute after that. You want to leave it on high, and then we'll do that. But what I'm going to show you next is just what how we're going to um, put this all together because um, I'm going to do it a little restaurant style because the Philly crab inspired me to do it like that. So we're going to pick up something that you can get at your cheapest little store, like the little knick-knack store, maybe the dollar store or whatever. Um, there are a lot of chains like that. Um, but this is just getting to a little steamy action going on. And it's just me, so I, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to show you exactly how we're talking about. We're going to go down here. And you see it boiling just a little bit. It's got some of my. And you just do that for a little bit. Um, if you and then there's our chicken going quite nicely. And there we go. Got to look at that. Got to look at that. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. And we're good.